Hi everybody, welcome to ABC Blue and Free. Thank you for joining us today. We're very glad to be back. We've been away and off for a couple of weeks. We had a little bit of time off. But we're back and we're glad you're joining us. And I'm here with my very special helpers and you might know them. Sophia, you wanna say hello? Hi. And Jeremiah is coming in a second. And you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Hi. Okay. <laughs> And we're glad you joined us today because we're having a berry blast. So berry blast to us in New Jersey, it's Blueberry Month. It's National Blueberry Month actually, so all over the nation, everybody's celebrating the same time of fruit. We're gonna be making some delicious blueberry recipes for you. Now Sophia's having a hard time keeping her hands off the blueberries, so I have to keep them over here or she won't touch them. But before we get started, we just wanna share with you a little bit um, Blueberries are filled with antioxidants, and antioxidants are good for what? Uh, your, body. your body. Pretty much every part of your body, antioxidants are good for Alica. And so we're going to share with you a couple of facts based upon blueberries and some of the things that we're going to be using today. So we want to, first of all, thank Mario from De La Rosa for sending us some delicious balsamic vinegar. Did you notice we're all wearing blue? We are? Okay. Tell them thank you for the balsamic vinegar. Thank you for the balsamic vinegar. Delicious, and the grapeseed oil. And thank you to Rachel at Carmelina Brands for sending us some of these delicious tomatoes. And also, we do not want to forget, because we love Laura from the Salty Wahine. Uncle, she show actually, close. Oh, you want to show her closer? She sent us some of these delicious Hawaiian sea salts, and I can't wait to use them today. Okay, back up, they're too close. We've got them in both of our delicious recipes. We're going to be using them, hopefully. All right, Sophie, come on back. Actually, we're using them in the chicken and we're using them in the salsa. But I shouldn't have told you that because we're going to get started right now on making our blueberry scones. You guys ready? Jeremiah, would you get the stuff to put the, make the scones? All right, so before, um, I don't need this right away. Before we get can started. Can I make this? Can I make stuff with this? No, not yet, honey. For the blueberry no, scone. I no. No. We just need one. For the blueberry scones, it's a very simple recipe we're going to share it with you. And we want you to get your pen and paper and write it down. We want you to be Y-O-N, right? Bring so your own napkin. Bring your own napkin. You're definitely going to be Julie. They're definitely going to be Julie. Because these blueberry scones, we're going to turn them not only into scones, but we're going to make them into little blueberry cups. They're and delicious. they're going to be spectacular. And they put on a really nice show. If you're having a barbecue or a party or maybe even a bridal shower or a baby shower, right? like Miss Jenna's baby shower with everything was so beautiful. So we're gonna show you how to make these really quick. One All right. Or two. Yep, one of those. So a teaspoon of salt, about a cup and a quarter of gluten-free flour. And we're just kind of eyeballing stuff because we've made these so many times. Hold on a minute, please. Jeremiah, put the oven on 350. We're using about a quarter of a cup of raw sugar. We're using turbinado sugar. Now, if you want, you can substitute for coconut sugar. You can substitute for regular white sugar, raw sugar, whatever kind that you prefer. But I like raw sugar. I like that little crunch in the scones. Just one, one tablespoon. So we're doing about a quarter of a cup of raw sugar. Sophia already put the teaspoon of salt in there. We're going to be using about a third of a cup of our gluten-free oat flour. Thank you to Forest at Gluten-Free Harvest. Notice how it's almost all gone. Forest, look, the bag is almost empty. So we're going to use about a quarter of a third to a cup about of the gluten-free oats. And that's the oat flour. So they take the oats and they're going to actually just mill them to in, in a flour. And you can actually do that if you have your steel-cut oats. You can do that at home. Be careful, please. All right, so to our scone mix, now you know we're not doing any eggs, we're not doing any dairy. We have some coconut milk and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So we have about half a cup of coconut milk, and you can use almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, whatever it is that you want to use. And then just a splash, I usually use the cap, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, the cap, and I put that right into the milk and I let that sit. And that's going to create our buttermilk, so we want to do a buttermilk in our scone, but we don't want to use the dairy. So we're using that instead. So he's going to put that right in there. You already put the baking powder, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll put that away. So we already have the baking powder and, nope, stop this. No, none of this for now. 
And then what she's gonna do is mix it very gently and then we wanna add our blueberries. We don't wanna crush the blueberries so much. Just stir um, very gently, please. And we're gonna need a little bit more liquid. We just wanna kinda keep an eyeball on it because you almost use about three quarters of a cup to one and a half cups of your flour, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit more water in there. You can use more milk if you wanted to. Um, you can also, um, you can really put some yogurt in it if you'd like to, any kind of yogurt that you like. All right, so then we're gonna add the blueberries while the flour is still a little bit more dry because we want those blueberries to kind of stay throughout the entire scone and not drop to the bottom or float to the top. You never know. Okay, so we're just gonna add the blueberries. I'm gonna do about three quarters of a cup of blueberries. I like my blueberry scones to taste like it. Gluten-free dad's favorite is probably blueberry scones. So we wanna make sure we make them really good for him because he's working very hard. We wanna make sure he gets some good snacks when he gets home. All right, Sophia's gonna add that a little bit. I just gave her one or two tablespoons of sugar, um, water back into that. And you're gonna start mixing that. Jeremiah, can you bring us the um, pan? We have a pan, just a regular sheet pan with a plain piece of parchment paper on it. Now you wanna be careful, like I told you in the past, if you're buying parchment paper, you want the dry one. If you get a wet parchment paper, sometimes they put soybean oil on that, and if you're soy free, you wanna be very careful because that can make you very sick. So we have a dry piece of parchment paper that we get at the restaurant store. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need yeah. You're gonna do your hands, but you're gonna do your hands gently because you don't wanna squeeze the blueberries. So we have the dough, let me just show them real quick. Sophie has the dough, Where's it's a it? bit crumbly. It's oh wait, red. we forgot to put our um, our dairy-free butter in there. All right, so. we need it, do we? Yeah, I think we do. All right, so we're gonna use our dairy-free butter. Mommy almost forgot, sorry. About two tablespoons of that. And what Sophia's gonna do is we're just gonna, normally you put this in before the blueberries. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just kind of toss this around very gently. So I don't crush the blueberries, but I incorporate that, that dairy-free butter into there. Now, if you like, you can use a regular butter. You can use your soy-based butter. Or your soy, gold. Or you can use carry gold, yes, if you do dairy, right? All right, so, oops, oops I just dropped that. Jeremiah dropped that on the plug almost. All right, so she's gonna just mix this up a little bit with her hands. And I'm gonna dry off my mess. It's a good thing I didn't get it right in the plug because I need that later. So if you guys caught our periscope, um, we just did a little quick periscope to share with you to let you know um, that we're gonna be doing the full recipe today on live stream. We're doing Berry Blast. We're dedicating this to National Blueberry Month, which is July. And in New Jersey, blueberries are very, very prevalent. We have blueberry bushes pretty much yeah. everywhere. Okay. Uh, I don't think you need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you need it, you do? We'll do, get, you need to get in there a little bit more and stick it, that's okay. So we have a lot of blueberry farms in our area. We also have one of the largest blueberry and cranberry farms that actually supply for ocean spray. So we are home to the ocean spray cranberry bogs, which actually started out first as blueberry farms and then turned into cranberry bogs later on. Um, we like to go on that tour and pick cranberries and pick blueberries and it's a lot of fun. Well, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about, there you go, you're doing a good job and you're gonna put that right onto here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about the blueberry, and you know I'm always posting about eating a rainbow and making sure you get your colors, and today we're going to be doing a lot of colors based on the salsa that we're going to be making for you and the chicken, but blueberries are actually really, yep, flatten it out a little bit, make a nice round disc. So he's just going to make a nice round disc out of this blueberry stone, and then we'll show you what we do with it afterwards. So we want you to know the blueberries are very good antioxidants, and they have two very important things in them that are very good for your body. Reservatol, and if I say it wrong, forget about it. And then anthocyanidins. And both of those are really helpful to your body to fight off any type of diseases, actually cancer. Um, blueberries can reduce um, any inflammation in your intestines and actually increases your heart function and it's really good for you. And also, I just wanted to read this to you, it's a plant pigment and what it does is it has B and C in it and that just builds up your cells and boosts your immunity system in your body, and it helps to fight off anything. But it also just brings good health to you. So nine to 13 servings a day of fruits and vegetables. Hold on, not yet. Nine to 13 servings a day of fruits and vegetables, and if you're not getting those fresh fruits and vegetables, you need to fill in your gaps. So you wanna make sure you have these rainbows, and if you do three to five of each color, 
then you're going to be supplied for the day, but you want to make sure you're getting good, healthy ones. Because you can get anthocyanin and resveratrol, those two elements in the blueberries, in a processed version, which does not have the actual antioxidants that you would. So if you're getting it processed over and over again, you're not really getting what you needed. So Sophia did a beautiful job on the scone. Look at this gorgeous. Now there's something special that we do to our scones before we put them in the oven, right? Why don't you get a knife out? And then Jeremiah, we're going to need a little bit more coconut milk. Would you get that? Actually, I could use, I could use this. Just give me a, oh, I got it. I got it right here. All right, so Sophia, Jeremiah, can you get rid of that, please? Sophia is actually going to score our scones, and she does her own little thing. Go ahead, that Grandma taught you. Yeah, so she does her little prayer on it, and then we want to cut the scones into just almost like a piece of pie. And we just score that. We don't want to cut it all the way. As you can see, we're just kind of going a little bit in depth. We just put the knife in a teeny tiny bit. We didn't go all the way. And me and the other You and grandma. The other blue and pink grandma. grandma. We bake scones a lot, and she always says the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And she makes a lot of scones and bread, that's for sure. Yeah. So we're just brushing the top with a little bit of our earth balance, and you can use whatever you feel like it. If you sugar. wanted to do an egg wash, we're not going to do sugar on the top. If you wanted to do an egg wash, that's completely up to you if you do eggs. Um, you can do the coconut milk again or whatever kind of milk you want. Just brush it on top. And that's going to give it that nice golden brown along with that sugar in there. It's going to make it beautiful. Jeremiah's going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 17 minutes. And then he's going to check it with a little toothpick. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Now on to the All right. So for our next recipe, let's clean up first. We're going to clean up our mess first. So we got to get the sponge. I got in my eye. How did you get dough in your eye? Come here, let me see. What did you get dough in your eye? How did you do that? Let me see. It's either flour or milk. You're good. She got a little something in her eye. Yeah, okay. All right, so for our next recipe, we wanted to do something fresh, delicious, but also very healthy and nutritious. And we wanted it to be simple because we know that in the summer you guys don't really want to cook. So this is perfect for on the grill. Of course we're doing it inside today because it's just way too hot outside for us. It's Not for media. us to be outside and in the pool, but for us to be cooking, yes, it's just too hot. Uh, all right, so we're going to get our pan on medium, about 350. What do you mean? And what we have here is our delicious chicken breast. Thank you to Excellent Meats. Can you wait? Thank you to Excellent Meats for our gorgeous chicken breast. Now we have this. Yeah, we do. We miss Excellent Meats. We haven't been there in a while. We gotta get. We get. We need more meat. So what we have in here is uh, De La Rosa balsamic vinegar. Jermaine, can you stop, please? Thank you. Not yet. And we also have salty wahine. Now when we put the for salty wahine, we put the gu guava garlic salt. La. Yeah. I love this one, and I really think it's just going to be a nice addition to our grilled chicken salad that we're going to be it making a little pink. bit different. Yeah, it turned pink. Now I want Sophia to turn those over just to show you. They've been marinating since this morning. Now the chicken has turned pink, but it's going to be fine because we're going to cook it, and then we're going to slice it up nice for our salad. I'm putting a little bit of grapeseed oil in our nonstick pan. Just want to get that hot and ready. And I love my West Bend. This is vintage West Bend. And I know you guys see me and hear me say this all the time, but my $3 went a long way with this. It comes everywhere with us. We travel with this. It goes in our hotel room with us. And uh, we basically live right out of this pan here. From baking cookies to breakfast to grilling chicken and making salads. It's unbelievable. All right, Sophia's going to put those right onto the hot pan. Go ahead, there you go. Here, a little sizzle. We know that it, the pan is nice and hot. We've got two nice chicken breasts that we're going to be using for our lunch today. There you go. And now I'll take this. And we're going to leave these over here to get ready. And Jeremiah, can you take this away? To top on our chicken, we're going to be making a delicious blueberry salsa. Jeremiah, we'll take that. Beautiful, thank you. These chickens are not going to take long, so we're going to take them and put them onto a plate later so they can rest. For our 
blue berry salsa. This is probably one of our favorite things. And when um, Jeremiah was in the regular school, I would go and do a spring into healthy habits cooking class. And I would always make this blueberry salsa for the kids because it incorporated every color of the rainbow. And I wanted the kids to learn how they can eat healthy and delicious, but also be fun and tasty and all those kind of things. So we did this blueberry salsa. And normally we would just do it in our ninja container, put everything in there, blend it all up, be really quick about and it. By the way, this is new. Yeah. Brand new. But we're going to do it for you right, um, everything we're going to do for you right now. So we're going to start chopping. So B is going to start chopping. Thank we're going to do twice. pepper. Dice. Everything's going to be diced. Dice the pepper, do this one first. So now it's up to you how much you want to use of everything. I like to do like one and one and one and one this kind of thing. Yeah. So normally we would do a really big can of tomatoes because I like to fill a big jar with salsa because they eat so much of it. Um, but being we're going to a soccer tournament this weekend, we're gonna make just enough. We're gonna make just enough for Saturday and Sunday because we don't want it to go sour, especially being outside all day long. All right, so I'm just gonna. Oh, these are looking really good. They smell delicious. That balsamic vinegar. Once you marinate something in that, forget about it. It's completely gonna be delicious. It could be a piece of, I don't know, tofu, really. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that, because people like tofu. It could be a piece of tofu, and you marinate it in the balsamic vinegar. This is right out of Italy. So is the caramelina tomatoes, and they're right from Italy, and it's fantastic. So we've got a little bit of Italian and a little bit of Jersey today that we're sharing with you. We're going to use our green pepper from our garden. That's Mexican. That is. Yeah. And we're going to use one of our jalapenos just to spice it up a little bit. We like it sweet and hot. Is like this, by the way, these two are my garden? I just said that. Oh, okay. Jeremiah, that's a very dull knife. Seems really dull, right? Try a different one. So I'm just going to open. I love the fact that they have pop tops on Carmelina brands. We're going to just pop the top on these diced tomatoes. San Marzano, there's nothing better than this. Where do you want to put the peppers in the bowl? Yeah, everything in the bowl. tomatoes more than anything, right? Going to ground. And when it's this time of year, the love of tomato just exudes from our body. It bursts out through you. It bursts out through me, you're right. In our salsa, we're just adding peppers. We want to do all the colors. We're doing blue for blueberries. We're doing white with the onion. We're doing purple with the onion or red, whatever you want to call it. We're doing green. red with the peppers. With our peppers, red with our peppers, red with our tomatoes. We're going to do a little bit of garlic. Green with the tomatoes. The garlic and the onion out of the refrigerator is already. You keep going. Go, Sophia. How are you doing, Sophia? I'm just baking peppers. Chili pepper. We're going to add some of this right to our salsa. Yummy! 
All right, I'm just making sure the chicken is cooked. Normally I would do this on the grill, like I said to you, but it's hot today. I'm just gonna do it right here so we can get it all done right in front of you. All right, are they doing a good job chopping this up? We wanna know what you guys think. Give us a little comment on the bottom and we'll get back to you from our Facebook page or live stream. We wanna hear what you think. We're gonna be tossing this with the blueberries pretty soon. So I have here um, basil and fresh mint. We're going to be putting both of those into our salsas. And this is really going to be vibrant and delicious. It's going to have so much flavor. We're going to add our passion fruit and chili pepper salt into that. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of this because I'm not sure how hot it is. And since we already added one jalapeno, we could be in trouble. Not trial. already. Your mind's baking it right now. Okay. You go get him, buddy. You go, buddy. You go. Thank you, Laura. That was so nice of you to send us these packets. We really appreciate it. We are totally enjoying playing with it, especially the lava and the java, which we'll be using on the show um, throughout the summer, hopefully. We want you to check out their website. Go to saltywahine.com and just check it out. They have a lot of interesting things on there. And some interesting facts about the salt and the lava and the charcoal and all of these ingredients that they use. They harvest and they are careful about everything. Not only that, but did you know that this salt is 86% sodium chloride, right? Is that what they were down? 86%, so 16% of that salt is all of the elements, the electrolytes and minerals that you need for your body. Other salts that you find in the grocery store are 99%. Of the and sometimes they have percent of yellow in them, which is actually a cancer causing plastic agent that they add to fill it up. And that's even in some kosher salt, so you have to be very careful. Oh, that was you, Sophia? And they also have even a sea salt gill where they have to watch carefully how you harvest and dry the sea salt so that it's done to their specifications in Hawaii. They're very strict there about it. So Salty Joaquin is on top of everything and she takes care of it and she's been harvesting and doing that sea salt for a very long time. No, just toss it in there. And we're gonna need the herbs sliced. So we have some basil. Jermaine, I don't cut them, just throw them in there. Jermaine, you can do the mint. Sophie, you could do the basil. We also have some really nice chives. If gluten free grandma can give us a handful of chives over there. A shifanada? Yeah, shifanada. So Sophia knows what shifanada means. And if you're not sure, are you going to explain it to them? Okay. It's where you put all the leaves together, like in one pile. And then you roll them up however way you want to roll them up. And then you cut them. And then you slice them thin. You shifanada. And then they come out. They have the to be leaves. a little skinnier, though. But all right, so I have here the red and white onion that I already cut. Um, and I did that because I didn't want to cry for you guys on the show today. Not fond of that. But anyway, so we have this cut up, but we want to talk to you about the onion. Now, if you've ever seen, um, there's some books that talk about the clues of fruits and vegetables. And this is a circular, but it's also very venous. So this is great for your veins, this white, anything white in the white family. And I'm just going to read to you really quick what it says on our chart. It's allicin and quercetin, and it maintains healthy bones, circulatory health, and support arterial function. So I think it's very interesting that it looks like veins all going around. It's so cool that we have these little clues to help us learn what's good to eat for certain parts of our body. Jeremiah, could you hand me the holly hobby plate, please? Thank you. Mommy, I'm going to take our chicken off. Yay, yeah, I got a new Holly Hobby plate in the yard sale. Look at that. The little things that make it happy, right? So I'm taking off our chicken now. It's nice and brown. We're going to let that rest. I'm going to put it right over here. I'm going to turn off our, our heater here. And I'm going to let Jeremiah take that away when he's ready. This is hot, So we have our scones in the oven. We have blueberry scones in the oven. Now we're using our fresh Jersey blueberries that we absolutely love. Gluten-free dad went picking blueberries and we ate them all before we got to the show. So we actually had to go buy 
for at the store. But we made sure we looked yeah. at the labels and made sure there were Jersey blueberries. They're actually from Hamilton, which is not too far from here. But we do have uh, more local areas here, like the Ocean Spray plant, um, the Ocean Spray garden that you can go picking blueberries and cranberries at. We just didn't get to do that yet this year. Jeremiah, Daddy, when picking one, you're at guitar, right? Yeah. And he picked about, I would say, six okay. or seven okay. pounds. No. He picked about six or seven pounds. We had a big container full. And when he came home, I was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? I was so excited. And you just get so excited about food items. I'd rather have food gifts than anything else. All right, those have to be really, really super tiny. So the kids are cutting some chives, some basil, and some mint that we got from Chef John. We're gonna just add in that we have half of a yellow and half of a red onion. And that's very potent. I can still smell it. It might make me cry just, just, just putting it into the container. I don't know. All right, so now let your mind do that with his knife, honey. Okay? Unless you're gonna let mommy do it. You want me to do it? Hmm? Just kind of toss the salsa around. Let me just get this out of the way. Where's my key? Oh, I got it. Don't worry about it. Got it, Jermaine. Don't worry about it. You're going to just toss those blueberries in there. I got my cheese knife. Got your cheese knife? So, normally when we're cooking, we're usually cooking together. We're usually making a mess, and gluten free grandma usually cleans it up. And then we usually all eat together, which is a very important part of our lives and our family. I like for us all to eat together. So I don't know what you guys sit down to do at night or in the daytime or whatever, but we want to know what your ideas are. Are you sitting down to play a game or watching videos or watching a movie? We like to do family movie night, right? That's always fun. Why are you using the cheese knife? Let Jeremiah do it. We need him smaller. So our salsa is almost done. We just have a few more steps to do. We put in the salty wahine, which is delicious. We're not going to add any pepper, but we definitely want to make, you want to make, wait, clean up your mess first. How about that? Don't put those in the sink, just put them to the side. All right, so we're making a delicious blueberry salsa. We do need a little bit of vinegar or some type of liquid. We want to loosen this up a little bit. So, no, 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 listen, you have to listen to mommy. What should we put in here? Should we do balsamic vinegar? Or should we do a regular vinegar? Can we do a, a oil? No, we don't do oil in our salsa. We do vinegar. Okay. You want me to do it? Balsamic? I'll just do balsamic, okay? We're gonna do a little bit. Black bow. Black bow. We're gonna do a little bit of balsamic Can vinegar. You do we're going to do a little bit of grapeseed oil. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Did I mess up something? Oh, Jeremiah, go check that. All right, Sophia's going to toss that around. That's and this is like a really delicious kind of almost like a uh, chutney. Is this one? Yeah, you can put that in now. We're going to have to test this. And normally how we test this is the kids go get some chips and test it. Okay, Sophia, that's good enough. Go ahead, you stir that around. Toss it nice and gently because we don't want to break up those blueberries. Now, normally, like I said, you put this in the blender and just kind of whiz it all up together. But since we're doing a little bit of a chunkier version, maybe we'll blend up the rest later and we'll take pictures and show you that. What we're going to add to our delicious meal is we're going to add a nice slice of lettuce. Now, you can do a wedge, you can break it up, you can cut it up, you can do whatever you want, but we're going to do how we want to do it. Jeremiah, would you, are they done? No. The blueberry scones are still in the oven. How many minutes was that, 15? Yes. Okay, so they're gonna go in for maybe, how many more minutes, five, five. six, seven? Jeremiah. Five more minutes in the oven for the blueberry scones. Remember, those are egg-free, dairy-free, nut-free, soy-free, but they're definitely gonna be delicious. Yeah, one more thing that plate to do. Please? So for our salad, we just have plain iceberg lettuce that gluten free grandma got the other day. And I was going to use romaine and a mix kind, but I decided on changing my mind. Can you get the lettuce knife out? Ready, Mama? Do you want to move this out of the way? I decided to change my mind and just do an iceberg. Because if you've ever went to 
like some Italian restaurants, they serve an Italian wedge. Just a minute, please. And I absolutely love Italian wedge. They do um, crumble blue cheese, some bacon and stuff like that. So we wanted to do our healthier version for you today. And we have a, a special knife that we use to cut the lettuce. Jermaine, would you get the lettuce knife out, please, in the drawer here? Where's my knife? So what we do is we use our lettuce knife to cut the lettuce, especially if you're not going to eat it right away. Yeah, it's okay. You can smush them up if you want to. Did you guys taste it yet? Yeah. Does it need salt, pepper, or anything? Gotta taste it yet. Okay. Can I try it now since I'm ready? Mm, my mouth is watering. We hope you guys B Y O N because I'm drooling. Are you drooling? Mm. 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 I gotta get glue for the grandma one. Mm. Mm hmm. We'll give her one. That's delicious. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All right. We'll do a little bit of regular salt. I don't want to put the lemon. And we'll do some pepper. You want? No. Why don't you get that lemon and lime out? Turn my stuff because we can break this up later. Just stop. You're gonna make your turn all dirty. Lemon or lime? Lemon or lime. Lime if we have it. We're going to add a little bit of lime juice. This is really nice. Very fresh. And as you can see, we have all of the colors in there that we wanted. We have the red, the green, the purple, the blue. What do we have? What if we, we don't just have don't have any yellow, but we have white. Check in the drawer right there. I see a lemon. I'm thinking we need a little bit of acid. If we need a little bit more balsamic vinegar, we can put that in. Or if we need a little bit of lime juice, we can do that. Salsa is coming all different no, shapes. This one's and turning into a star. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut off a little piece and squeeze it in. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze it in there. Don't forget the gonna take out that one pit. Jeremiah's still eating. Stop eating. We need this. I have to test it again. All right, test it again. That's really good. You like that? So this you're going to want to make a double batch because this is going to be spectacular. And as you saw, it's just basically cutting up some veggies that you can get at the farmer's market. And they're really, really, some of them are really cheap. And even organic this time of year, you know, when you're going to farm stands, you can find them for a really good price. All right, so we're going to do our slice of lettuce. And I like to call it a slice because I'm going to cut it a little bit different than you would usually at home. So I want to make just a nice little bed like that to put our grilled chicken on and then put our salsa on top. So I'm going to make everybody a nice piece. And when you go to eat this, all you're going to do is basically cut it up with your chicken and your vegetables. And you're just going to have a really nice presentation on your plate. It'll be pretty. And this knife really comes in handy when you want to slice, pre-slice your, some of your lettuce. Okay, little boy, that's enough now. He continually eats salsa and chips pretty much all the time. And when soccer's on, the bag of chips and the salsa is right in front of him. Oh, yeah, you need to taste it now? So if this slice of lettuce is too much for you, you can always cut it in half. You can cut it right down the middle if you like and just give yourself a half of a piece. And it's totally up to you. Yeah. And what we're going to do with our chicken is we're going to slice it up nice and thin. Now gluten-free grandma knows how far we can make two or three pieces of chicken go. So we're going to show you that right now. So these two pieces of chicken would feed our whole family. What are you doing? This smells good. It smells delicious, right? I'm just going to slice it up nice and thin. Take the stove with that. Okay, take it out if you do. So I'm just going to slice it. Now, if you want it diced, yeah, you, you can dice them. Knife. Yep, I'm using my good knife. Now, when we had our sub shop, grilled chicken was probably the biggest and best seller. I just ran into someone the other day who said, they ate a Santa Fe chicken burrito pretty much every day in the summer. 
And that was one of our really famous burritos that we made. Grilled chicken, rice, black beans, guacamole, salsa, sour cream, on a big, huge flour tortilla. Now, I do miss that because it was spectacular. We would steam it in our steamer with it. We'd, you pump it, shh, shh, and it goes like that, and it just tastes delicious. So we're trying to replicate all of those things that we used to eat when we were on the boardwalk, God bless you, and make sure that we eat healthy and delicious at the same time. I think we're probably the only healthy place on the boardwalk, right? We had wraps, we had chickpea salad, we had fresh salsa, we had chili, we had so many delicious things at our place. And it was called Summertime Subs, and we did have delicious subs. I think I learned how to make sandwiches for my mom and my dad because they both used to make delicious sandwiches. My mom would have to make six or seven subs and put them in the refrigerator for us in the summer so we could just come in and grab it and eat it. Otherwise, the cold cuts would probably sit there and go bad, right? Same thing with the fruit. You used to cut the fruit up. She'd cut the fruit up and leave it out for us, some cantaloupe and some watermelon. What, honey? Are we going to make the little cups? Um, if we have time, yeah. Let's cut this chicken up first. Do you want to start making the cups? Yeah. All right, so. How do I make it? Well, just get a bowl first. All right, so what we're going to do is put the chicken here. Hey, hey, get out, get out, get out. Patience, okay, patience. The grilled chicken is really super tender and super delicious. So just to make sure. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh. Blueberry. It's so yummy, and I taste that guava garlic salt, and I absolutely love that. We're probably making one for Grandma Fry over there, but let's move this over. All right, so I'm gonna just move our lettuce out for a moment. I need a plate. Sophie, let's see what time is it. Yeah, we have we have time. We're gonna make one more thing. We're gonna make our beautiful little scone cups. These are spectacular. Mom, can Would you bring the plate over so I can show them, Jeremiah? Can I the No, we're not doing that. You you're definitely not hearing what I'm saying. You don't need that. You're making scones, right? Scone cups. We need flour and sugar and butter. That's it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit more flour in there. Don't you want to put the coconut cream? Not now. We don't need it. So these are our beautiful little scone cups. If you saw on Periscope, we just shared with you a little bit of those. So we're doing about uh, three quarters of a cup of flour and a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to do about two tablespoons of our gluten-free oat flour, teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. There you go. Jeremiah, would you get the coconut milk, please? And now we're going to use our earth balance, about a tablespoon of that. Really super. Hold on. No, this is the wrong no, tool. Remember? Okay. Just get a fork. Get a fork in there. Oh, here you can use this, baby. You're just gonna. You want to whisk some ingredients, but you also want to just fork and stir some other ingredients. That's enough. So what we're gonna do is gonna make the scones. Jeremiah, would you get me the little dessert cups? And we make them into these little dessert cups. These are gluten-free grandmas that we make our pecan and walnut cups for the holidays in. We like to make little mini muffins in there. We like to really utilize a lot of our baking goods. We're gonna just get the cups nice and greased. A little bit more than I. I'm gonna do about a dozen of those. And it really depends on you if you wanna double that recipe, make an extra dozen and put them in the freezer for next time. I like to have desserts in the freezer. That way when people come over, I'm ready and prepared. Um, last week we were at Gluten Free Grandma number two's house and we had a nice roulade for them and her visitors, right? Okay, we need a little bit more flour. That's too much milk. Okay, put the milk away. What? Who said what? Who we said what? Like this. Okay, put the milk away now, please. So as you can see, actually, I just want to show you really quick. Our lettuce is sitting out and it's not going brown because we cut it with our plastic knife. That keeps it from getting kind of tarnished in a way almost. We have a so until we're ready. Yeah. Okay, let mommy have this now, please. All right, so Sophia did a great job making our scone mix. You don't want to over mix it though, honey, okay? You want to just keep it easy. 
We're going to do a little bit more with the flour of our oats. Okay, can you stop? And I just want to turn it until it kind of comes together. I don't want to beat it up. Jeremiah's going to put the oven on 350, and these are going to go in for about 8 to 10 minutes. And what we're going to do is just kind of put it in the cup. And before, when it was more of like a dough, I just pressed my finger in the center to kind of make an, in, an indentation to put that little blueberry like in there. A, it's kind of like, like a, a little dimple. It's like a cup where you could put like a drink in it. Yeah, you could put a drink and in it. And you can also eat it like a drink that goes good yep. with the cup in it. So why don't you get a little spoon, one of our little spoons, the little ones. I'm just going to start filling up the cups, and then Sophie can do a little dimple in there, but you're going to have to use, wait, you're going to have to use some flour on that so it doesn't stick, okay? Jeremiah, why don't you bring our scones over so they can see them? You need, you put them on the cooling rack? Is that No, no, just bring it over like that, Jeremiah. As soon as I get this done, you can bring it over. All right, so we have about 12 little mini scone cups. And these you can really fill with anything. They can be strawberries, raspberries. Excuse me, I got a hiccup. Okay, just a moment, please. And you can use these for just about anything, or you can put some chocolate chips in them and just eat them just like that. Mm. Yeah, that would be yummy, right? Okay. Sophia's gonna do the impressions with a little bit. Hey, hey, I see her picking. You guys see her picking? She's eating chicken. Before she was eating blueberries, now she's eating chicken. Okay. All right, Sophia, you need a little bit of flour. Just dip your spoon in there before you go in. And now we're going to start to assemble. Chicken with a blueberry. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah's going to bring over our scones just to show you how gorgeous they are. Oh, is, it, is it still hot? It is. Can I have that? Nah, is that a good right. sample? These are our gorgeous blueberry scones. Look at that. Oh, those blueberries are popping. They're delicious. They're probably warm and toasty. If you wanted to, the last five minutes of baking or two minutes, you can sprinkle the top with a little bit of sugar. But I like to wait and let them cool and then do powdered sugar on the top for everybody to enjoy. I just leave mine off because that's too much sugar for me. So what I'm going to do now is let that cool a little bit more. Jeremiah, you can, you can take this off and put it right on the cooling sheet, okay? On the cooling rack. Take that. Take that in two hands, there you go. And we're gonna let that cool for about five more minutes before we bring it out and we wanna show you some of our delicious blueberry cream. Sophie, you wanna speed it up so Jeremiah can get that in the oven. And for the blueberry cream, we're gonna use our coconut cream, yeah. the culinary coconut, good girl. Jeremiah, you can put that right in the oven. Get rid of this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was really loud for you guys. Right, Sophia has a new toy that we shared with you before. This is my little feeder. It's a great toy. You need a bowl. And she's going to make some blueberry coconut cream that's going to be delicious for our little cups here. Now, we do have some cream made because once you make this, you really need to put it in the refrigerator and let it firm up a little bit. Right. Are you ready, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you sure? You're not going to splatter everywhere, though, right? I won't. I can, okay. When I go slow, it goes like this. Me, me. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get a scissor. Let me go ahead and get a into the cream. Yeah,
Okay. Okay, now I can take it. Now you can go forwards and backwards, right? It's the backwards. So this is a very splattery. So she's going to just do a little bit, and then we're going to let that set in the refrigerator. Jeremiah can put that right into the fridge. All right. And last but not least, we have some delicious rainbow chard from Chef John's Garden. And we're actually going to just dice that up a little bit. And maybe chiffon on that, as Sophia said. And we're going to use that over our salad. I like to leave the stalks on, the stems on, because they give it really nice color and they are very tasty. Sometimes people take them off and you can make a stock with them and that's okay. Just don't, definitely don't want to waste it. Let your mind try, honey, okay? This is going to bring really nice vibrant color to it. You can't go faster on the platter. Okay, Sophie, would you get the blueberry cream out of the refrigerator, please? We're getting ready to assemble now. We hope you guys B-Y-O-N, right, Sophia? Bring you your own napkin because this is time to drool. This is when we're going to eat our delicious creations for our very blast. All right, you want to give everybody a napkin? Thank you. We have some gorgeous plates here, beautiful china plates. We always like to eat off some nice china, and this is from our friend Jeannie that gave this to us. They're beautiful plates. All right, Jeremiah, that's enough. Put it away in the refrigerator now, okay? Oh, don't do that. Just going to tap off the blueberries from the top. Lady, lady, have to make the little blueberry gang corporate. No, it's okay. It's fine. Let them go. All right, so now we're going to make our plate. Sophia, are you going to go first? Pick your piece of lettuce. Hmm. Do you want to pick a piece of lettuce? And I'll make gluten-free grandma's for her. I'm just going to take off this little edge here. We're going, whoa, you took the biggest one. We're going, to actually, okay. we're going to actually take our chicken and just kind of layer it here. Just a little bit. Jeremiah, would you get a spoon out, please? You can take off the sides if you want to. So we've got our, our slice of lettuce. We've got our gorgeous grilled chicken with our salty wahin. That guava garlic salt is amazing. And we're actually going to put our blueberry salsa right on top. And that's going to be delicious. We're going to add some of the uh, chiffonade of our rainbow chard there. It's going to be amazing. And if you wanted to, you can add a little bit of grapeseed oil around the edges. Even a little bit of, avoc uh, of um, avocado oil if you wanted, or balsamic vinegar. It's up to you. We're going to do a little splash on the top. Jeremiah's going to go get a picture of that right now. Okay, this is our delicious grilled chicken slice of a salad. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait for gluten free grandma to have that. And then we're going to fill some of our berry cups and have some of our delicious scones. You're taking a lot of chicken, little girl. <laughs> She's making a beautiful picture over here. So the blueberry cream that we have already made is coconut cream, and we use tahini, which I absolutely love from De La Rosa. It's a sesame paste, and it really just gives it a really great flavor. And that is going to go into our little cups, and I'll do that while Sophia is assembling her device over here. Master Sophia, piece. can I get yeah? Can I get another spoon, please? She's very busy. She's very serious right now. She's serious about her food all of the time. Let me see. Let me make sure we did everything. To make sure we do everything, we don't want to leave anything out. Oh, we want to thank Carmelina Brands, Rachel, for sending us those delicious Carmelina tomatoes that we're making our gorgeous blueberry salsa with. We want to thank Mario from uh, De La Rosa for the balsamic and the grapeseed oil and the tahini that's in our blueberry cream. And we want to thank Laura from Salty Wahine for the delicious, delicious Hawaiian sea salt. So let me get a spoon and I'm going to finish making this 
Sophia is still working on her masterpiece. Yep. You want to bring those over here, Jeremiah? Jeremiah's going to bring over our gorgeous scones. Beautiful. And I'm going to cut those and put them on a nice plate. Can you see them? Can put them on? So when you score the scones, it just kind of gives you guidance of where to cut when you're actually going to take them off of your parchment or your or whatever you're baking on. We want to just lift these up if we can. Ta-da, Sophia, wow, that's huge. You need a bigger plate, I think. Look at these gorgeous scones. These are egg-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free. They're definitely delicious. you want to take a picture of this? You can if you want. Okay. I want to have a little bite of scone. Don't mess it up. Because I'm drooling. Would you like a bite? Careful, it may be hot. Mmm. Mm. Oh God. Mm -mm. That was. Mm. We didn't even do powdered sugar. Mm. You don't even need it. Well, we just need to get gluten free grandma one because we don't want her to miss out on a scone. This is probably one of your favorite things, right? A scone, gluten free grandma? Yes. You love scones? I do. Gluten free grandma needs a fork and she needs a scone. She has a fork. Okay. Now I'm going to fill these cups really quick. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think I'm going to need a yeah, I think you need a bigger plate. She needs a bigger plate. I'm going to put a little bit of that blueberry cream in there, and you can also put it on top of your scone if you like. That would just be spectacular. I'm going to fill the cups up. Just putting that little blueberry cream in there. Okay. Are they a little bit brown or no? We're going to put our little blueberries on top there. You could do one, you could be, do some. All right, hold on a minute, honey. These are looking spectacular. Oh, they look so good. Come on, you're very busy eating over there. Yep, those are done. Take them out. Going to do it? I got it. I got it. You go up front. so delicious. So guys, we have a lot of baby showers coming up, a lot of bridal showers. These little scone cups are perfect because you can get them done ahead of time. The regular scones are great too if you want to make a whole bunch of them. Just cut them into smaller, make maybe scone bars and, and you can freeze them. Take them out when you're ready. And this grilled chicken on a lettuce slice is just spectacular. You want to serve something really elegant, 
but yet simple, but that tastes so delicious, and you don't have to spend all day doing it. This is definitely a great meal for you guys to try. What are you doing now? I'm gonna have one more bite of scone before we go. Mm. Mm. Jeremiah. All right, tell me what was your favorite? You want a bite of the scone? Jeremiah? Bite of the scone? They're nice and warm. I love when they come out of the oven. And if you freeze them, then you can put them in the toaster real quick and gluten-free grandma sometimes puts hers in the microwave. And she wants it right away. She doesn't want to wait. So for our very blessed, we hope you enjoyed our blueberry salsa with our delicious Carmelina brand beautiful San Marzano tomatoes. These are incredible. 100% organic from Italy. The San Marzano name is, is just linked with integrity and premium products. And we're just so glad that they were able to send us some of those delicious things. We've got some blueberry scones and delicious blueberry little petite little cups that are gorgeous. We had our salty wahine soaked chicken that went right on top of our lettuce slice. That's totally amazing. Sophia, what was your favorite thing so far? <laughs> what was your favorite thing? <laughs> you don't know? Or you can't speak? You have too much food in your mouth. We made delicious salsa without cilantro. Just in case Miss Jeannie comes over later, we want her to be able to enjoy the same food that we are. Hopefully there will be some left for her and gluten free dad later. <laughs> So what's your favorite, Tommy? Those you don't know yet? Oh, well, you gotta calm down now, slow down. What's your favorite? The salad, the blueberry cups, or the blueberry scone? The salad, Jeremiah, what about you? The blueberry scone, I thought you were gonna say the salad. Boom for grandma, what about you? You know I love scones, she but I, I... She's busy eating I, her salad right now. She's gonna save her scone maybe for her cup of tea later. So it's time to go, guys, to say goodbye. Thank you for your help. Mwah. I love you. Thank you, Jeremiah, so much for your help today. Mwah. I love you. You guys, we hope you enjoyed the show today. You guys want to say goodbye? Say goodbye and thank you for watching. <laughs> she can't. She's busy eating. She's saying thank you in sign language. Can I say ciao for now? You can't even do it, right? Ciao. Oh, and anime, you can say from your friends. Um, your, bone anime. That's from Animation Chefs. They do bone anime. It's fantastic. We love that show. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed the show today. Thank you so much for joining us on ABC Gluten Free. We want you to come, taste and see how good it is to be gluten free. And as you can see here, we're leaving the weekend eating delicious. We hope you do too. God bless everybody. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Aprons by REM Design, wardrobe by Two of the Boutique, hair by Satiny, makeup by Artistry. Follow us on live stream, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube at ABC Gluten Free. Thank you to De La Rosa, Carmelina, and Salty Wahine. ABC Gluten Free is a production of American Vibe. Ciao. Ciao.